It's a part of a broader law that was passed many years ago in 1996, which essentially shields these companies from being liable for things that are posted on their sites. Now, we talk about this law in terms of how it impacts big companies like Facebook and Google, but you also have to remember this law also shields smaller companies, news websites with comment sections as well. And so that's an important thing to keep in mind today. And what you're gonna hear from lawmakers is whether or not these big tech companies should continue to be shielded by this law or whether or not we should make amends to it through Congress or some other bodies at the FCC that wanna go in and make changes so that tech companies no longer have those legal provisions. I wonder right now, Sarah, that's what lawmakers are gonna be debating and trying to question. What are these CEOs going to say? Because we have an idea right now, prepared remarks they will deliver. What will they say about the case for keeping those protections? Well, they say that if we got rid of them, it would fundamentally change the Internet as we know it. Users wouldn't be allowed to upload things at the same speed and scale that they're able to now. And one of the things that they'll note, Dom, is that most users use these platforms for good. Sure, there are a lot of bad actors out there that are trying to put bad things on the Internet. But if you were to overregulate, you would actually hamper the ability of regular everyday users to post things that they think, one, elevate free speech, but two, could potentially help them connect with the world around them, whether that's posting in a comment section, uploading a photo or a video and sharing it with friends. And so the big pitch here, right ahead of election day really, is to not just lawmakers, but to consumers broadly, do you want your internet to be fundamentally different than it is now? Some might say yes, but a lot might say no. All right, so, so we know that these social media and big tech companies have been under fire because of this idea that their platforms are being used to promote bad things. If you do have a regime, hypothetically, where you have to then over-regulate or more, perhaps regulate even further these companies, doesn't that suggest that you take away some of those free speech freedoms? Isn't that what the case is going to be here? It is, and expect, by the way, conservatives to also make this case. One of the things that conservative lawmakers have said is, look, we actually think Section 230 is good for free speech, but we don't want it to be applied to companies that don't prove to us that they're neutral. Now, we've been hearing from the past two years that conservative lawmakers think these big tech platforms are biased against them. Now, what scope they're going to use to measure whether or not a tech platform or any company on the Internet is neutral is going to be really hard. That's why these laws are written so broadly. And then to your point on free speech broadly, we do see other places around the world, Europe in particular, that pass more broad sweeping regulations that you know govern technology. And the result of that, quite frankly, Dom, is they have way less innovation than we do here in the United States. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.